Oh, hello, Hot Stuff. Tawny Janae here. Welcome back to the Elevated Block series. This is your complete lower body, aka booty torture class. The only thing you're going to need is this block. It is an incredibly demanding and effective class. And we will not leave until your booty is singing and you have used every ounce of energy in your lower body. You get to check your reflection after and be so proud of all your hard work. Are you ready? So you just need this block. Set the block down in front of you facing long ways on the block's lowest setting. We get to start on the left. We always start on the right. I'm going to start on the left. So first I'm going to explain what we're doing and then we'll start all the timers and all the things. Are you ready? So the left foot is on the block. Stand up. Notice how that feels. You get to do a curtsy lunge. A curtsy lunge is when the back leg goes behind the front and you bend. This is the movement and you can use the big toe when you come up as a little stopper, a little balancer. Now, if this move is a little too gnarly on the block, don't worry. If your foot is bigger than the block, let the toes hang. That is no big deal. You don't need them to balance. But we're gonna get right into it. Are you ready? The timer starts now. So you step back, curtsy lunge, and come all the way up. You're first finding your full range of motion in this movement, and notice your left knee. Can she stay hanging out in the general vicinity of your ankle? Yes. And if you start to open up your hips as you squat, it's no longer a curtsy lunge. I want you to keep your hips squared forward as you lunge in this curtsy to really wring out the most out of your time. Time on the mat. So fun fact, everything's going to happen for about 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. Then we'll switch to another movement and I'll explain and then we'll do it together. Again, keeping the hips squared. Notice if you lean forward in your curtsy lunge, it's going to be more in the booty, which is what I love, always getting into the booty. And if you lean back like this, chest up, it's more into the quads. So choose your poison. Now the next move, I'm going to explain it, then we can do it together. It's the same thing we lunge, but I want you to drive knee to elbow for a knee drive. So you're kind of staying in a half lunge as the knee drives. Ready? Let's do it. We lunge low, come halfway up, knee drive. Curtsy all the way, halfway up, knee drive. Take this movement as slow as you need. And if you need to slide the block next to a wall, you're like, this is all a little too crazy balance wise. Let's test ourselves and work our way up. Find a wall, hold on to something beside you and do all the movements. And pretty soon you'll find yourself being able to do all of this. Yes. Are you ready? Keep going, squaring the hips to the front as always, as we curtsy leaning forward to get it into the booty and breathe Good for four, Woo! for three, last two and one. The final movement on this leg, I explain, we do together. You squat into the curtsy and lift and lengthen. Squat, curtsy, lift and lengthen. Let's do it together. We start, we squat, we lift and straighten the leg. As you lift and straighten the leg, ooh, the leg goes at a diagonal, so then it's straight behind you and then sweeps back. Now, the slower you move, the better. You might be wondering, what's the block actually doing under the foot? Well, it's elevating literally, figuratively, not metaphorically, your bottom foot, giving you a larger range of motion in your curtsy so you can get deeper and more into the glute, which I love. Good. Just a few more here. Remember how I said this is the last movement on this side? I kind of lied. Are you ready? We're about to do the la actual last movement. Good. You're, the next time you curtsy, stay, then go to a lunge, just like this. Curtsy, back to a lunge, staying time under tension. Your leg should be on fire. That is what we want. Just a few more for four. Yes, for three, we stay. For two, one, hold. Try to kick your own ass just for four, three, two and done holy left leg time under tension works good shake out that leg take nice deep breaths it's really good work to put the left leg to the test i love working it first too now we're going to even yourselves out so you're not wobbling you have one beautiful booty on one that's a little less worked we're going to even you out so again we set up together we have the block right here now you get the left foot on, I'm sorry, the right. And again, if your foot is larger than mine, that's okay, the toes can hang off. You don't need them to balance. You just need them to walk. 
Again, the first move is a squat. And then you lower, you can come up and tap the toe for a little bit of stability. That's it. So you lower and lift again, leaning forward to get into the glute. Are you ready? We're starting the right leg together. Time under tension, you know what's coming, but approach it with a smile. Let's go. Lower and lift. Lower, lift, squeeze. You can find a slower pace to start, really deciding how you wanna do each lunge with the hips pointing forward so the hips aren't open. So it's a traditional curtsy using the block to elevate the experience to get a deeper range of motion and deeper into the glutes, yes? Just like this. Uh-huh, that lean is so good. I might be out of breath, but believe it or not, you can feel it, your right cheek has more energy in it. So you can actually do this. We're getting the heart rate up, which is really beautiful. We're really saying hello and how are you to the booty. Good for three for two, last one. Now I'm gonna explain the next thing as you know, we lower into the curtsy, come halfway up, knee drive. That's the move, you lower, curtsy, halfway up, knee drive, we do it together. Curtsy, knee drive. Take this as slow and thoughtful as you want. If you need to hold on to something, a chair, a person, a wall, go for it. If you want a larger test, maybe you can pick up the pace a little bit more. But wherever you are, find that nice, healthy, lean forward with a tall, straight spine in your curtsy to get it right into the glutes. Yes. Just a few more like this. You have more gas in the tank. You are so strong. If you're starting to shake, good. Just soften the face. Find a little bit more commitment. Dig deep and let's keep it moving for three. Yes. For two. And last one. So now the last move, remember? <laughs> I'm gonna explain it to you. We'll do it together. If you remember, awesome. So we curtsy first. And then we straighten and extend the leg right back behind us. Then we have to cross the body to re-curtsy. That's the movement. Take a nice inhale. Exhale the curtsy. We lower, lift. And the lift in the back leg is coming from the left glute. Ha. Yes, the one we just worked. So you really get to feel this movement in all of the butt cheeks, the right and the left. We're demanding energy from them all, good. Glorious for three, for two, oh, last one. Now we hold, we curtsy, we regular lunge, staying low, curtsy, regular lunge, just like this, glorious. So proud of you for staying. Now this really is the last movement and then we're just gonna kick our own butt, good, for four. Stay low for three, yes, for two. Kick your own ass, stay low. Uh-huh, you're not coming up, you're just leaning into the front leg, kicking your own booty for three. Yes, for two. And one. Oh my goodness, give yourself a pat on the butt. That is good stuff. We're about to see some serious crotch, belly button, and boob sweat, which is what we're going for today, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, are you ready for what's next? We just did the right butt cheeks, so now we get to go back into the left. But the block is going to go under the right foot to get into the left leg, right? So take your right foot on releve here. You're coming into a sumo squat. So wherever you feet are, you can try to do a sumo squat. I am now a little too narrow. So I get to widen my stance. Uh-huh. Sit into a sumo squat and come all the way up. That feels pretty good. That's my distance. Make sure both of your toes are pointed out. And as we bend, the knees go wide. So let's start this together. Are you ready? Breathe in, fill up. Exhale, slowly lower, squat really deep into your sumo. Now notice, we're favoring the left leg. The right leg is just there for looks, there to remind us to be graceful like a ballerina. Lowering and lifting. As you lower, knees reach back. Mm -hmm. And as you lift, try to squeeze your outer hips down, engaging more muscles in the glute. Uh -huh. Making a nice full range of motion here. Good. For four. Yes, full range, leaning into the left leg, the left heel even, for three. Yes, for two. And one, hold and pulse. This is it for a little bit. 
simple, teeny, tiny little pulses for five. Yes, for four. We squeezed for three, two, one. Come up, I'm explaining what we're doing and then we're going to do it together. We get to dive into our sumo squat, lean slightly to the left and straighten the right leg. Do this part with me. Mm -hmm. Sumo, lean left, straighten leg, simply lifting and tapping the right leg in its entirety. So the left leg is still strong. It's a point of support. It's like a tree trunk. Now your branches can waver in the wind. Your leg is lowering and lifting, which is testing the balance on the left side. Again, this is really balance dominant, but balance is a really good indicator of longevity, of how long your life's going to be in a healthy way. So if you're struggling with balance, I still want you to do this with me. Just hold onto a wall, a chair, a block, a person, and fight for your balance. It's a muscle, it will grow. Good for four, for three, for two, one hold, little pulses up. Good for three, yes, for two. And one final movement, it's a combo. We sumo, lean, lift, down. Sumo, combo, lift, yes. Fight for your balance. Take your time, it doesn't have to be at my exact pace. Go at a pace that feels comfortable for you, but lower, lean, lift the straight leg, yes. I don't care if the leg lift is just one inch off of the block. I wanna see you put in work here, babe, good. For five, we take this so slow and thoughtful. Yes, for four, we love our legs, especially our booties. For three, for two, holy legs. Last one, hold and pulse with me just for five, for four, for three, for two, and done. Stand all the way up. Massage your quads. We are really giving you the most well-balanced workout. I'm in here with you. This is the things and the workouts I like to do because they work. If I don't have heavy weights, I'm going for time under tension and it feels absolutely remarkable. Catch your breath in between sides. Maybe grab a sip of water, but we're getting right back into it. What we do on the left side, we want to do on the right. So Again, setting yourself up for success while we have just a few seconds here. Find your sumo squat that feels good. You can test it. I'm a little narrow. I'm just gonna heel toe a little bit further out or find a placement on the releve black side that feels good for you. So now we're on the right side, yes? Right foot takes more of the brunt. The left foot is on the block. Okay, are you ready? Let's get right into it. The first is a deep sumo squat and come all the way up. First working range of motion and getting our form freaking dialed. We want it to look so good. So how do you do that? Sumo with me, we go down, the knees go wide, wide, wide. I'm thinking about the knees widening. And then as I come up, I'm thinking about the booty engaging. Make the mind booty connection, uh-huh, to really turn her on and involve her. The more backwards the knees reach this way using your glutes, the more glutes are gonna activate and work. Beautiful, just a few more here. Now we get to switch movements. You know what's coming, but approach it with a beginner's excited mindset. You got this, you're almost done. And then after this little cute series, no more sumos. Good for four, faster for three, all the way down for two. Last one, hold, pull, squeeze for three, two, done. Second move, we're gonna go over together, we do together. You take a little lean to the right side, point the toe and lift and lower the leg. So let's do that together. Shift over to the right, straighten the left leg, lift and lower. Again, if you need a wall, grab a wall. If you need a friend, ask a friend. But wherever you are, keep it moving and try to challenge your balance. Balance is one of the great indicators for longevity. So is grip strength, woo! So is muscle mass. So keep lifting heavy things and putting them back down. Keep testing your balance, eat well, maybe hold on to a barbell every now and then, see how your hang's going. Then you're bound to be really healthy into your later years in life. Good, just a few more. How is the left leg? Can you straighten it even more and lift it even higher? Good, for three. For two, we hold and lift for one. Hold, 
pulse for three, yes for two, and one lower. Now is when we combo things. Are you ready? We marry both movements together. Here we go. We're in it together. We sumo, lean, lift, lower. Yes, sumo, lean, lift, lower. My pace is my pace. You're more than welcome to join me or surpass me or take it at your own pace. It's all welcome here, all levels. Uh -huh, as long as you're smiling and sweating or feeling any sensation in the lower limbs, we're doing the same damn thing, girl. Good, lower, lift, squeeze, glorious. Here, just a few more cycles and then you're done. Stay with me. Uh-huh, good. For four, yes, smile the face for three. Last two, uh-huh, one, hold. Don't think about it, just do it. Hold and pulse for five, for four, for three, two, and done. Holy legs. Woo, give yourself a pat on the quads for that one, that's a killer. It's really good. And now, one more movement with the block up and we get to lay down. Are you so excited? I am. <laughs> Take the block. Now we're doing both legs in between your legs. Kind of like a chair. So it's in between your knees. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze into the block like your life depends on it. Ooh, so your inner thighs are engaged, yes. <laughs> Sit low into your chair pose. Give me a little pulse and then a deepen in the lunge. Come up halfway. A little pulse, a deepen in your chair squat. Come up halfway. A little pulse, a little lunge, super low. How low can you go? And come back up. Good. We slowly lower, pulse deep, come back up. Nice, good. For four, yes. For three, for two. Last one, we hold here, get low. You can stay here, hang out here. This could be it for you, or maybe you wanna test your balance and see if you can lift one leg, squeezing the block, and then the other. You're just holding here, sitting low, or keeping your hips super low while test, test, testing your balance. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm so proud of you, whatever option you're taking, honoring your body today. But if you can, you must. If you're capable, you got this. Push yourself. Good for three, for two. Last one. See how low you can sit. So you can get your booty on the dance floor. We're sitting down, which is so nice. Take the block out in, from in between your legs. Take a nice deep breath. I'm drenched in sweat. It is warm out here in Australia and I have crotch sweat, belly button sweat, boob sweat, and I could not be more proud. Rock it with some dignity. Next up, we're doing a cute little series for our booty on the floor. Maybe you've done bridge poses a zillion times and maybe this is your first time, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So lay down, uh-huh, all the way down. I am so, so sweaty on this wood, it is amazing. Okay, moving on, Ton. Place the block in between your knees, just like we did, lower thighs, knees. I just want that to be there so you have a point of reference to squeeze into. Set yourself up, see if you can tickle your heels from here, yes? Roll your shoulders back. Simply start to exhale, pull your abs in, and then inhale, peel your hips all the way up keeping a nice long spine. So as we bridge pose, I don't want it to be a back arch kind of deal. I want the whole spine coming down. It's just a hinging at the hips. So let's just work on that here. We lower slow, we lift slow, keeping the spine really tall. It's not a yoga bridge pose. It is a fitness bridge pose. And I love them both equally, but right now that the cause is our booty. So this is how we're doing it. We lower, we lift. Uh, lower and lift. As we lift, every time I want you to squeeze into the block. Lower, lift, squeeze. Lower, lift, squeeze, just like that. Oh, hello, lower, lower booty, where it gets from that crease to your hamstrings. That's the area we're working good. Full range for five. Squeeze at the top for four. Yes, for three. Last two, one and hold. Squeeze into the block, that's it, just squeeze. Pulse, lift, yes, we squeeze, pulse and lift for three, for two, and one. Nice, holding the block just where it is. I just want you to lower the right hip and lift. 
then alternate lower the left and lift just like that going right and left getting to isolate each butt cheek oh hello lift and squeeze in between rounds good a little higher with the hips because you can you are so strong i just know it how good does it feel to be challenged good for four for three for two and one hold squeeze good slowly mindfully lower the hips to the mat or to the earth or whatever surface you're on next up with the block just as it is come onto your tippy toes same same but different peel your hips up squeeze into the block lower just halfway lift all the way up lower halfway lift all the way up as you lift up squeeze the block yes fading in as the hips lift to the deepest squeeze at the top good for five we stay yes for four your booty should be on fire just like your inner thighs mm -hmm. for three yes for two uh-huh and one hold at the top pulse up and squeeze in pulse up and squeeze in we love it for five yes for four we squeeze for three two and one slowly lower all the way down my love release the block from your inner thighs take a breath we are almost done almost 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 okay now my favorite version of bridge pose is doing it with a bound angle bound angle is just a fancy way of saying the soles of the feet touch the outside edges of the feet are on the floor and the knees splay wide like a book now this is going to put the sensation in a new part of the glute the glute lead which we love the outer glutes the block stays in the hands, but we just slightly overhead to stabilize the upper body. So from here, lift your hips up like you're doing bridge. It might feel a little weird. It might feel a little awesome though. You're both strengthening and opening your hips at the same time. It is okay if your range of motion is small here. It is all good. And if this is just for whatever reason impossible, every body's made differently, stick to the traditional bridge pose, but keep your heels down, toes up. There's always an option for you, but the heels are closer to the groin and you're using the outer blade edges of the feet to lift. Again, reaching the block overhead to stabilize the upper abs, to turn them on. Uh-huh. Lift, squeeze, pick up the pace, double time, let's go. Squeeze and lift for five, yes. For four, we squeeze for three, for two, one, hold. Widen the knees if you can, little microscopic widens as the hips stay lifted, nice. You can close your eyes and really think about that. Lift the hips while widening the knees down to the earth for four. Yes, for three, for two, and one. Slowly lower all the way down. How delicious is all of this movement making for the most well-rounded class? This is it if you want to stay here and TikTok the knees side to side and start to stretch and move out the lower back, it should feel pretty good. Or I also have these delicious more yin, AKA restorative and nourishing style classes in this series using the block. Highly recommend the lower back one. But if this is all you've got time for today, boy, do I appreciate you spending your valuable time with me. If you like what's going on here, it would really help to hit the subscribe button, the like button, all the things. But remember to stay hydrated. And wherever you are, I hope you have the most beautiful day. Namaste. Tony Janae.